TSSA, get back on track. We all want our union back. TSSA, get back on track. We all want our union back. TSSA, get back on track. We all want our union back. We're here to support the staff today at TSSA who uh, really sadly are having to take action against bullying, harassment and the lack of change in TSSA. It is a real tragedy because we've had to remove our last General Secretary, Manuel Cortes, for sexual harassment. That was quite a bruising experience, but we did eventually have our new General Secretary election. And whilst there was problems in which the Executive Committee did abuse their power by campaigning for a candidate, the end result was we did end up with a new General Secretary. Almost as soon as our new General Secretary was elected, Mario Esslundus appeared to start creating internal conflicts, resulting in two separate EC members eventually leaving the Executive Committee because they did not believe they were being supported, <laughs> believing that they were being victimised. We then had internal staff within TSSA facing disciplinary processes which appeared to be manipulative and unfair and unreasonable. I've been a TSA member for a very long time and yeah, I'm here to support staff today. They've always been there to support me. Very recently, my branch managed to get a motion of support through for staff. Um, this was against all the odds um, of, you know, pro Marion uh, officers gerrymandering uh, a lot of uh, branch activity. However, that wasn't translated through correctly to the, to the, uh, the committee that deals with the, the motions. So uh, I, I protested against this and I found myself locked out of the following meeting. So the harassment and the bullying extends the branch offices too. The EC decided to disband Women in Focus, which was the self-organised women's group, um, on a technicality. We were late getting back on a letter that they knew that we were going to answer. Um, and that is just a travesty. Our branch was very concerned about Women in Focus being removed which was so fundamental for holding our last General Secretary to account. After Colony, after Kennedy, bullying and harassment still the enemy. After Colony, after Kennedy, bullying and harassment still the enemy. After Colony, after Kennedy, bullying and harassment still the enemy. Since the Kennedy report, none of the recommendations have been carried through. And in fact, it seems like the environment here has got even more toxic. The survivors of the former TSSA regime, we hope that they would be brought in, we hope there would be public apology, that they would get justice, but they would be part of the change. And it looked at one point under the Interim General Secretary Peter, Peter Pendle that it was going in quite a positive direction. But since the election of the General Secretary, things seem to have gone backwards. The survivors have not been involved and there still is no justice for them. We thought that if we could get survivors, the women's group, members and reps and staff along and look at change properly and look at systematic change within the union, we would have the opportunity for a model democratic member-led union and that has not happened. There's been no structural change. There's a lot of people who are attached to some of the old ways and some of the old guard. If critical voices in our union, both in terms of the staff and membership are going to be dealt with by suspensions and disciplines, then we can have no hope for proper democracy in our union. It's really worrying that even though they have the backing of the union, it's a legitimate strike, staff members and staff reps don't feel empowered to speak out because they are suffering such a level of bullying, they know that it will be turned against them. It's in a trade union where the general secretary walked into the building at 7.30 in the morning before the picket line. This is not trade unionism. The leadership has to accept that they've made mistakes, use our democratic processes, work collectively and, and build from the bottom up. Instead of discussing it, they see it as a personal attack and they take personal defensive positions and that's going to get us nowhere. Our branch has called twice for Marion Esselduz to come to our branch meetings and twice we those requests have been ignored. We invited Mariam and the President to come to a third meeting at which we were not satisfied by the responses that we heard from the President and, and Mariam didn't respond and didn't turn up to the meeting. So that's why we voted for a vote of no confidence in the General Secretary and the President and will remain in support of the full-time staff for so long as they need our support. We're in a time of incredible austerity and anti-union sort of rhetoric in the media and in government. Um, we need trade unions as strong as they can be. And we can't build a radical movement, a grassroots rank and file movement, if, if it's full of bullies, sexists and racists. 
GMB represents the staff of TSSA and the Monaghan report a few years ago showed that the GMB union was institutionally sexist. There have been previous reports that showed that the union was institutionally racist. This feels like a key moment. We've actually got three industrial struggles that are notably about cultural change within unions. We've had the North East Yorkshire and Humber GMB balloting for strike action. We have TSSA on strike. They're just about to ballot in the UCU also for culture change and, and about racism that's happening in the union. So it feels like something is taking off. We need to get together the rank and file and push this back. We need to reclaim our unions to make them strong for the fight that we have for the future. TSSA, get back on track. We want our democracy back. TSSA, get back on track. We want our democracy back.